thousands of pilots have reported observing phenomena in the sky that do not resemble any weather anomaly or man-made aircraft they've ever encountered. Such was the case with Captain Eric Delgado, who served as an Air Force pilot for 10 years before being hired to fly for FedEx in 2001. On the evening of March 20th, 2020, Captain Delgado departed from Mexico City in a Boeing 767 bound for Memphis, Tennessee. One hour into the flight, Delgado noticed something strange in the distance. Usually when we get to altitude, we'll relax. I was conversing with my first officer, and as I'm looking at him, his eyes got really big, and uh, his mouth kind of dropped, and I'm like, what the hell is this guy looking at? And he goes, look at the shooting star, and he stops. They never, never finished the word star. And so I kind of looked over my left shoulder, and you can uh, imagine a lighthouse in thin fog, kind of just a, a spotlight sort of that just kind of came over us. And I thought, oh my God, it's another airplane, and he's got a vector toward us. What's this clown doing? I grabbed the throttles, gripping it with a death grip. It's getting ready to disconnect the autopilot. And I'm looking at the screen, realizing there's nothing on the screen. Delgado immediately used his digital camera to record the astonishing sight. I thought it was a shooting star. Let it just stop. He's a pulsating orb. Look at that, dude. Look at that. Within minutes of the sighting, the orb moved towards the plane at a high rate of speed, then suddenly stopped short. My heart was racing still. Speed doesn't kill. You know, deceleration stopping, that's what kills you. And the fact that this thing stopped like that, if there were somebody inside there, you know, uh, our conventional laws of physics and stopping, they wouldn't have survived the G-forces to, to come to a stop like that. Oh, man, look at that thing, dude. The UAP flew alongside Delgado's aircraft at an astonishing 500 miles per hour. And yet, there was no sign of a propulsion system. This thing was parked on our wingtip about 1,000, 2,000 feet, and it didn't move. With your naked eye, it was just bright, dim, bright, dim. And it was very sick, like it didn't waver, it was the same. And you look through the camera, and now you could see features in, in a shape. The object continued to track Delgado's aircraft for nearly 30 miles. It's turning colors now. This thing started rotating and started changing colors, and it started taking off. And so I'm zooming in as fast as I could. I'm zooming in, and he's pulling away, dude. He's pulling away. This thing took off at pretty good velocity. After making a safe landing, Delgado shared his videos with the Air Operations Center personnel, even though his co-pilot was reluctant to file an official report. There was still a stigma behind the whole thing. You know, are, are they going to ground us? Are they going to ask for our medical? You know, uh, we're going to have to go see somebody. So I could understand where he was coming from. In recent years, we've seen military pilots being encouraged to come forward and talk about things they've seen. The same has not necessarily always extended to commercial pilots because there isn't an interest in collecting information from those pilots the same as there would be with military pilots, where in the interest of national security, if you see something, say something. But traditionally, when commercial pilots contacted the FAA, they have been told, hey, you need to talk to civilian UFO researchers or they don't actually have a clear idea of where else they can even log those reports. So it's a very different situation. Captain Delgado decided not to give the video to the FAA and instead turned it over to the National Aviation Reporting Center on Anomalous Phenomena, or NARCAP, a civilian organization made up of volunteers who investigate unidentified aerial sightings. They concluded that the glowing object was consistent with that of an exotic craft with a plasma exterior that could disrupt radar signals. I think I saw some intelligent anomaly. It's amazing. I, I'd like to know more of the science and the physics behind what I was looking at, maybe. But, you know, see the footage and, and, and form your own opinions. 